Hi, welcome back to another Garmin Marine Team webinar. My name is John, and I would like to introduce the brand new GPS Map 9000 series and BlueNet. So as always, if you have any questions on this specific webinar, please email us at marine.training at garmin.com. So yes, introducing the brand new 9000 series. This is gonna be our flagship series of multi-function display chart plotters. You're gonna see large screens, um, quality screens that are really going to be the top of the line of what we're looking at in our GPS map series. So let's take a look. So brand new 9000 series, beautiful 4K IPS sunlight readable touchscreen displays. They're going to come in 19, 22, 24, and then our largest size, 27 inch. What we've done here also is increase the processing. So up to seven times faster than prior generations. Uh, where you'll see that, for an example, is in your uh, charts. So if you're panning and zooming within your charts, you're gonna see that that redraw time is much faster, up to seven times faster. Uh, best Marine entertainment and video integration. So we're now gonna be able to share protected content across the network in the 9000 series. And then full vessel integration. As we know, the Garmin unit is going to be your central command center. And then we can integrate that with all the systems on the vessel itself between switching and cameras and chart plotters, radars and sonars. And you're gonna see that is 10 times faster. So let's take a look at our current GPS map series lineup, the 9000 series, 19, 22, 24, and 20 inch touchscreen 4K displays, flagship performance, and then fast networking using BlueNet, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, we still will have the 84, 8600 series. These come in both a base unit, um, which is gonna give you um, just a base world map, and then you can buy them with sonar built in or without. So your XSV units will have built in sonar up to a thousand watt traditional sonar. And you'll be able to network that in a hybrid system to the 9000 series. So those will come in 10, 12 and 16. And then we'll have our X3 series also seven, nine and 12 inch units. Um, these come with clear view and sonar, uh, side view built into that. We can network and integrate these entirely. So we have you covered from seven inch all the way up to 27 inch touchscreen displays. So with the 9000 series here, it's new widescreen 4K. So obviously higher resolution, faster processor, up to seven times faster than the 8600 series. Uh, premium design, edge-to-edge uh, -edge glass with the brush finished aluminum trim caps, and then fast network working, greater connectivity. So BlueNet is gonna be 10 times faster than our traditional Garmin Marine Net. So Garmin GMN 1.0 or the Legacy series, we're looking at 10 times faster with gigabit speed networking. Uh, we will have Bluetooth Classic built in for direct voice command. What that means is you won't have to buy a, a separate voice dongle from us in order to do the voice commands that we allow you to do. So you'll be able to connect right to the 9000 series if you had a headset or microphone for voice commands. And then faster one helm launch times. So for controlling our third party uh, devices, you're gonna see that the launch times are getting much quicker than prior generation. And then the connectivity options, uh, traditional Bluetooth, Bluetooth low energy, AMP. So if you wanna connect your uh, Aquatix watch or your in-reach two-way text communicator, you have that ability. Uh, NEMA 2000, NEMA 0183 and J1939 for all other connections, including engine data, uh, generator information, um, NEMA 2000 with the 9000 series, you're gonna have included the 24 uh, XD antenna. So you can connect that through NEMA 2000. 
and then best entertainment integration that we're going to have. So you're, we're going to have more input ports on it. Uh, we're also going to be able to share the HDCP content across the network within the 9000 series, full camera integration, uh, integration with Empire Bus for digital switching throughout the entire network. So what is 4K? Think about it really when you think about your television. So over the years, you've had analog televisions. Um, you've upgraded to maybe a 720p, 1080p. And so, you know, the total numbers of pixels are increasing to give you a clearer image and greater resolution. And that's really what we're going to be able to do with this. So when we compare, you know, our 1080p, you're looking at 2 million pixels. And then with 4K, we're at 8 million pixels. So just bigger, brighter screens. Um, and then higher resolution screens. I'll give you an example here. This is a screenshot here. So think about sonar and vertical pixels. It's gonna equal more detail. So two times the vertical pixels, and then we have this in the magnify mode on our traditional chirp sonar, and you can see how detailed this is just with showing it from a screenshot. Control everything. So One Helm brings our partners in the industry to allow uh, them to create the connectivity to our devices here and be able to control them through the Garmin chart plotters. Uh, with the launch times when you're opening, opening those applications within the Garmin device, it's about five seconds with the 8600 series, and then we're gonna be down to less than one second. So much faster start times when you're wanting to control those, those lights um, you know, on your vessel. So currently, the 8600 series cannot distribute HDCP protected content. So that's that high bandwidth digital content protection. We will be able to distribute that through the 9000 series. So if you have an entire network of 9000 series on the vessel itself, and you connect, let's say, your satellite television or your Favorite streaming device could be from your phone, could be from your uh, Roku or Chromecast or Apple TV into the HDMI import uh, uh, port on your Garmin device that will be distributed through the BlueNet network through the entire system so you can view it. With the 8600, you would have to go in with HDMI cables into each individual Garmin multifunction displays in order to view that content. So let's take a look at the back of the unit here. Um, so we're, we've got a little blow up of the back of what we're looking at here. And obviously we've got a two pin power cable. We have a audio output and NEMA 0183 connection. So what the audio output would do when you purchase that cable, that would give you the ability to, let's say, connect to your Fusion stereo system. So if you wanted to play that, that game or that movie and listen to it throughout your entire Fusion stereo system, you have that ability to do it. And then also this would be where your bare wire NEMA 0183 cables would come out if you're connecting to maybe a an older autopilot or a, a VHF radio that would connect through 0183. That's the port and cable that you would purchase as an accessory. Um, this is a grounding lug here. So this is just a chassis ground here that you would use to go to the common boat ground. And then over here is your four network ports. So this is blue net here. So you've got four network ports, uh, M12 nine pin connection ports here. And then you have the two USB ports. So we've increased from one to two ports here. And then we also have a port here that is dual role. So this is the USB DRD, which is a dual role device. And I'll give you an example. If we go into the system setup of our USB uh, DRD through home settings, communications, and USB DRD, we'll come to this page here. And it's going to be on auto, and we can go in and change it from host to device. Let's just say that we want to be able to um, provide touch output to a personal computer. We're going to select device, and then now we have the ability to provide that touch output to a host 
uh, device like a computer. We have two HDMI inputs, and one of the inputs here that you'll see is HDMI ARC. Uh, so that is auto return channel. This allows us through the HDMI cable to send and receive audio through that single cable. So we can output audio from our Garmin uh, multifunction display uh, through that cable. And then we also have one HDMI output. The HDMI output would allow us to then maybe send the screen to a display or let's say a television. So if we wanted to view our 9000 series on another device like a television down in the salon area, we have that ability. Composite video in the BNC connection that you see down here. That's going to be for your, let's say, cameras. If you had an older underwater camera or analog cameras, you would connect into this video, uh, composite video input here. And then your traditional NEMA 2000, J1939. So your drop cable would go here to your NEMA 2000 backbone, and you'd have everything from your included uh, 24XD antenna would be connected into this and on that NEMA 2000 network. Uh, J1939 is used for like diesel engine uh, integration, if you want to see that information on here uh, through this CAN bus network. And we now include micro SD card slots here in the back. So if you want to add um, supplemental mapping, your 8 gig card is included in here for your to create an active captain card um, to use for quick draw contours. You do have the ability to still get a remote card reader that would connect through the USB-C. Um, we do have adapter cables that I'll talk about that'll go from our current USB card reader to this, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So what's included here, you've got a power cable, flush mount kit, your magnetic sun cover uh, comes with each one of these units here trim caps, and then, like I said before, your GPS 24XD with the install kit, so all the cables that you would need to connect the NEMA 2000 connections. Uh, this is a GPS antenna that is also a heading sensor, so you have that all in one. Your NEMA 2000 information here, and then your card, um, and then cover for your install to protect that when you're doing the flush mount install and then all your printed materials. You can get, and I talked a little bit about this before, you know, you want to make sure that you get the high speed HDMI cable. Um, so that that is going to make sure that you're going to get the best quality video and that that content can be shared or outputted to a monitor. USB-C to micro, USB. So what this will do is this adapter cable, let's say you have a current um, voice command dongle that's plugged into your 8600 series, or you have a current card reader, this is the cable that you'd use for that. So let's talk about BlueNet. How are we connecting all these devices together? And that's what we'll show here. So system on, on boats are complex. Uh, large networks that are going to use our Garmin MFD, our multifunction display, as a central command center for controlling switching, radar, sonar, communications, viewing our cartography, viewing external cameras, and then third-party integration. So there's a lot of information that's on this network. BlueNet is the new Garmin Marine network. It's much faster. So one gigabit per second for faster communications, the M12 nine pin cable. So it's a smaller cable. So easier to feed through the vessel when you're doing maybe a retrofit, uh, faster one helm support. The standard space IP version six now is added. So what this gives us is unlimited IP addresses. It allows us for POE devices on the network. So those devices that are using power over ethernet can now be on the blue net network side of it. And then this will also allow us to be part of the larger boat network. So with this, we can now um, connect in to the larger network and utilize this all together. 
increased security. We are backwards compatible. So we'll show how we can use the uh, BlueNet 30 gateway uh, along with the switch here and connect what we'll call legacy units. So our 8600 series or some of our radars and some of our sonar boxes and tie this in and make one seamless network and then more camera support. So we can use up to 16 cameras simultaneously now on this network. So just remember the new BlueNet cable here. Yes, it's M12 size, uh, but that's nine pin and then your NEMA 2000 connection. So that's obviously a five pin industry standard connection. So just make sure that you're, uh, you know, know the difference and that BlueNet is the Garmin network. Uh, Garmin Marine Network. So the Garmin 1.0, it will still be utilized. Our GMS 10 Network Port Expander will still be utilized. Uh, we'll need that for our Echo Map series or creating a hybrid network to tie into the um, 9000 series if you have multiple hybrid devices or legacy devices. Um, we're going to still use that. We're still going to make the connections that have the RJ45. Uh, cables and the PoE isolator. So if you're going to use like a third-party camera um, and then you still had just 8600 series on the vessel and that used power over Ethernet, we're still going to make those PoE isolators here. So all that is still going to be made and available. So BlueNet. We've got two devices that we're looking at here. We have the BlueNet 20 switch um, and that has the power two pin power connection here, and then five Garmin 2.0 network ports, and then your gateway. So two pin power, you've got the Garmin 1.0 network port, and then one 2.0 blue net out, so we can connect that. So we literally could connect in, let's say a 8612 XSV into here, uh, GSD 26 into here, which is our sonar box. We power it up. We take the cable from here, blue net cable, nine pin out, and then we can connect it into here. And then this would go into our 9000 series. We do have a stacking bracket. So this will allow for neat and easy installation of the 20 and 30 boxes. So as you can see here, you can do it a vertical, horizontal, so a bunch of different configurations there to install these uh, boxes. So a network consists of both Garmin Marine Network 1.0, which we call legacy devices, and Blue Network is a hybrid network. So Hybrid networks will use one single gateway device to provide compatibility between the two networks. So that's the BlueNet 30 that you see here. So the BlueNet 30 has your traditional RJ45 connections here, and then the BlueNet 9-pin connector here in power. So that's what's going to tie in legacy units. And in this example, we're, we're showing a Phantom Dome. Um, It'll go back to like the 7600 series. So let's say we have, you know, two 7612 XSV units. They're connected to a, a network port expander, the GMS 10. And so that would plug into, these can plug into here. We also have the GST 26, and then that would plug into the BlueNet 30. On the uh, BlueNet side of it, we have the cable out to the BlueNet 20 switch. And then we have the 9000 series. And we do have some devices that we're actually currently working on the legacy side, the Garmin Marine 1.0, like you see here, the GLS 10, which now can plug right into the BlueNet switch. Anytime that you're doing a legacy or a hybrid network with legacy units, like you see here, you want to make sure that any of the Wi Fi devices connect on the 9000 series. So, for example, our Active Captain would connect to one of these two 9000 series. Or, if you remember our old Verb cameras or our GC100 camera, that would connect on the 9000 series side. 
So we do have, uh, we wanna kind of break it down into compatibility. So uh, devices that are just Garmin 1.0, obviously your 8600, your 7600, um, the GPS Map X3 series, radars, your you know original Phantom 18s and 24s, and then you have some devices here, and obviously this could change, but you have dual support for your Phantom 18X and 24X, and then your open array Phantom radars here. And then you want to make sure if you do have the on-deck hub, that's going to be installed on the BlueNet side of it. And then obviously Garmin GPS map 9000 9, series is BlueNet only. Here's a list of our cable accessories currently. Um, so you can see here that we provide the Garmin Marine Network BlueNet cable. So make sure you're using that cable there. Um, this would allow you for that fast communication uh, that comes in a 500 foot bulk uh, spool. And then you can do field installable connectors on the end of those. And then we have all the other different connectors that you would need. Um, and then you can check our website at Garmin.com for a complete list of accessories for the 9000 series. So as always, I wanna thank you. If you have any questions specifically on this webinar, please go to marine.training at garmin.com. You can also scan this QR code. This QR code will take you to our whole library of Garmin Marine webinars. So you can look back on some of the um, past webinars that we've done and take a look at there. Um, as always, I wanna thank you for watching our webinar and we'll see you out on the water.